TGIF or Thank God It's Friday means something else on Cover by an LA. And I always say that, Thank God I'm Filipino. It is October 14th and nasa kalagit na ano po tayo ng Oktubre. Napakabilis ng oras. But October is a very important month for our Cover Bayans here in the U.S. because this is Filipino American History Month. Florante is joining us here on the show to talk a little bit about that, Florante. You know, Philippine American History Month, I was born and raised in the Philippines, mm -hmm. grew up there, studied Philippine history there. Yeah. And it was such an eye-opener for me coming here because in October, Philippine American History Month, I, it made me appreciate Filipino Americans more because then you have your own story to tell. Right. And I guess, you know, a lot of folks are not that aware that we celebrate this as October being Philippine. Everybody thinks about Halloween and, and uh, Day of the Dead and everything like that. But... Uh, it really is uh, the efforts of the Filipino American National Historical Society to uh, promote it as uh, our own month to celebrate. Because there are so many contributions that Filipinos have made here in the United States that people are just not aware of. So, Can you give us some of those? Just well, to, you know, feed sure. our ego, make us more proud that we are Filipinos. Well, I think a lot of people are, are uh, already aware of all the entertainers. Now, a lot of them don't play the role as a Filipino, mm -hmm. but they are recognized in the industry, like Tia Carrera, uh, Dante Diamond Bosco, Phillips. exactly. Yeah. All those folks, Rod Schneider even. Yeah. And uh, I think it's, it's so interesting that he always tries to put a cameo for his mom mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. be in all of his films. But we're talking about um, personalities now, and I know that mm -hmm. Philippine history has a lot of heroes, Jose Rizal, Andres Bonifacio, Emilio Aguinaldo, and all that. And here, whereas we had those people in the Philippines, you have? We have Larry Leong, uh, Philip Veracruz. Uh, those were two of the pioneers of the United Farm Workers Movement. Mm -hmm. In 1965, when the Great Delano grape strike started, it was actually Filipinos who were the first on the picket line. It wasn't really until a few days later that Cesar Chavez and Dolor Dolores Huerta joined the picket line, and uh, the two uh, organizations came together to form the United Farm Workers Union. Right, and it's very important because it's a movement that changed not just Filipino American history here in the U.S., but it changed the whole history of the U.S. Right, and then there's, there's other things that have happened in the past, too. Uh, during the Marcos era in the, uh, in the 70s, 70s and 80s, mm -hmm. there was actually a movement here in the, Phil in, in the United States to also stop U.S. aid, stop military aid to the Philippines to uh, help uh, that struggle in overthrowing the dictatorship. Yeah. Correct. So uh, what happens every October here in Southern California? Well, there's various celebrations, uh, especially on the campuses. So, for instance, this year we're trying to uh, promote the film The Debut. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be shown at uh, three campuses. Last night it was shown at UCLA. And uh, on the 25th and on the 26th, uh, UC Irvine, the mm -hmm. 25th, and the 26th at Cal State Fullerton. So this is being embraced as a way to uh, understand that we have, you know, major films, mm -hmm. uh, not that many, but uh, that tell our own story from the Filipino-American experience. And for those who are not familiar, what is the debut? The debut is basically a film uh, that went through a lot of struggle. It came out in 2000. It had to do its own promotional tour. Uh, folks uh, had to, you know, use up all their credit cards, mm -hmm. uh, basically even file for bankruptcy in order to make this film uh, happen. Uh, community funding, uh, going out in the community to try and get people to support it. Finally, uh, Sony picked it up as a DVD. Right. But it did have a tour that wasn't really through national distribution like other major films. It had to be grassroots. And this is important dahil palagi po natin sinasabi kung hindi po tayo ang magtutulungan, sino pa po ang tutulong sa ating mga Pilipino at kung hindi ngayon, ako kailan pa po ba? Hanggang kailan pa po tayo maghihintay no? to be silent, we need to be more visible, we need to be more vocal and this is our chance. So if we together celebrate a Filipino American Heritage Month by joining events and right. participating in activities, what other activities are there aside from the day? I actually have a display at the Carson Library going on through the whole month of October. Mm -hmm. if folks would like to learn more about it. Unfortunately, I, I have a, a flyer that I pass out with it, or they, the library passes out for me, that explains that a lot of the books and materials that are in the display are not even available in the public library. Uh -huh. That if they would like to, uh, we would encourage them to buy copies for the library and donate them. 
so yes. that they can be shared. Exactly, and these are books that tell the story of us Kababayans, us Kababayans from the Philippines, and us Kababayans, more importantly, here in America. But thank you so much, more power right. to you. Information on the screen, and when we return on Kababayan LA, kamusay naman po natin ang ating mga Kababayan sa Ventura. Don't go away.